What up, y'all? Terry Warfield. Hope you're having a good day so far. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I love talking about all things tech, and I also do motivational vlogging. So if you like those type of things, make sure you hit subscribe. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell. And if you're part of the notification squad, make sure you drop a hashtag up in here in the comments just so I know you're up in here. So I had this big, like, elaborate video. I feel like I said this in another video. But anyways, I had this big, elaborate vlog I wanted to do, right? But we got snowed in. We literally got like 12 inches of snow in the last nine or 10 hours. Let me show you. Good stuff. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> So as you could tell, we got dogged when it comes to snow. So that means I'm stuck in the house. But since I can't do my original video, I figure, hey, I haven't did any type of tutorial. I haven't really taught anybody anything about editing. So let's do one today. So I know I don't do these a lot. I did do a speed ramp tutorial before. If you guys want to check that out, if you're a Final Cut Pro user, it's right up there in the left hand corner make sure you watch that but if you guys like these editing tutorials or filming tutorials let me know i will do more of them i'm going to teach you something that's very small and very simple that really really helps my editing workflow so a lot of you guys always drop comments on my vlogs and stuff like that like how did you color grade how did you do this how did you do that well this is something that really helps my workflow and it probably speeds things up about four to five percent overall which in the grand scheme of things really helps out and that's adjustment layers this is more so for people who use final cut pro so the next thing is what is an adjustment layer an adjustment layer is basically a layer that you can put on top of edits or anything like that and it will allow you to make blanket edits to multiple clips in a nutshell that's what it is so adjustment layers will let you make color corrections exposure adjustments they'll allow you to use LUTs you can put sharpening layers on on, you can put letterbox layers on basically any type of effect you can drop on an adjustment layer to get the adjustment layer there's a link below in the description to this video it's free I don't remember where I got it I didn't pay for it so I don't mind sharing and I like to share with you guys so the first thing you need to do is download the adjustment layer and to install it let's go to Final Cut Pro I'll show you how right now all right, so obviously my adjustment layers are already installed, but if you wanna know how to do it real quick, once you have the adjustment layers downloaded, you'll wanna find your movies folder, then find your motion templates folder, then go to your titles folder. And once you're in here, I actually created a folder called adjustment layer. Once you open that adjustment layer, what I did is I took the actual adjustment layer download, put it in this folder, then copied it. So. The reason I did this is so when I'm editing in post, I know which layers are which. So I named one base, one color grade, and let's go ahead and go to Final Cut Pro. You'll see right here in the titles, I have base and I have color grade. Now, these are actually the same exact layer. You can actually name these whatever you want to. For my sake of editing, I'm using base and also grade. Makes them easy to track while you're editing. So let's go down to the timeline down here. As you kind of see, I already have a few adjustment layers working. Now, if you want to add an adjustment layer, basically, you just grab one of these up here and drop it down onto your timeline so for my base these are the ones i like to use as color corrections uh, like you know exposure adjustments and things like that you can stack these so if you wanted to use another one if you wanted to do this one like exposure correction the next one saturation or whatever the case may be then that's all you have to do so i'm gonna go ahead and delete this one since i already have a base grade layer so my base layer here is basically just for my exposure correction so if i turn it on and off you kind of see what's going on right here now here's the power of adjustment layers i can just drag this base layer all the way across if I wanted to. Anything beneath that layer automatically gets whatever effects that you put into that layer. So if I wanted to take like a color board, I can just grab the color board effect from over here, drop it onto whatever one of these grades I want to. 
and then whatever changes I make to that layer automatically apply to the clips beneath it. So uh, this is an easy way if you have a lot of clips that need to be exposure corrected. And you know that they're all around the same basic exposure level. Put blanket saturation on all of your clips. This is the easiest way to do it. Now, yes, you could take one clip and put your edits directly on the clip. But when you need to copy and paste those effects to another one, you could do shift command Z, but we all know that's kind of tedious. Adjustment layers are the easiest way to get this done. Now for grade layers, I like to use these for like any LUTs that I plan on using. Like for this one, I'm using Cinema Punch. This is a LUT from the LUT package that I use and I also offer, if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. And then on top of that, I have another grade layer where I add my sharpening because I'm using 1080p footage. And the 1080p out of the A6300 is just a little bit soft, so I like to add a little bit of sharpening. But you get what I'm saying these gray layers are a really easy way to simplify your editing and if you don't like them you can literally just select them all delete them and then all of your base footage is still intact so i strongly strongly recommend using these adjustment layers they will really help speed up your workflow they will really help keep grades organized and on top of that they're free and you really can't beat free all right the last tip i want to give you is keep in mind how you sort your adjustment layers the layer on top is going to give all of the layers beneath it whatever this adjustment is in this layer so just keep that in mind um, if you ever run into a situation where you can't figure out why your clips aren't changing to xyz check how your order is that could really help you out a lot and if you even like to make it any more advanced you can go back into your motions folder and you can create another one where you put color grade one or exposure one or however you want to do it i just prefer to keep it simple so enjoy all right man so i hope you learned something from that if you already knew about adjustment layers maybe share the video for other people a lot of people don't know about this little tip that can make their final cut pro editing lives so much easier so hope you enjoyed the video make sure you drop comments like it dislike it whatever you're going to do again if you guys like these tutorials i will do more of them make sure you guys check out learn to lead that video was up there right in the description that video is crazy and if you want that pack of luts that you saw me using which I do use every video hit the link in the description super cheap great LUT you can use them in Premiere or Final Cut Pro make sure you grab some of those plus they really help the channel helps feed the babies keeps the lights on you already know what it is but I'm about to get out of here man thank you so much for watching peace and chicken grease till next time Terry Warfield peace